else. Because I figured I've published two books this year. Doesn't make sense to publish another one. It really doesn't. But whenever I open the files, there is something I want to change. finish it then I look at the scenes and I go asking well is this before that one or did I just, um, order it uh, wrong you know there really is that danger so that one was how I uh, did it this morning I was writing uh, into the movie script the few things the two things that I wrote down for myself all of a sudden I saw okay now because of that I can also delete one scene at the beginning where she is uh, I wrote that she's sitting in the park in the morning with women but I shouldn't write it like that she should be alone then and she should be with the women later on makes more sense yeah so I did it like this each time this one goes so slow, I would love to kick the door, I tell you. Yes. So, you know, if I just keep, uh, it, uh, you know, a fun project, then the stuff you need to change is easily done. But otherwise, you get like into the mood. Now I need to change this and then you get the fear of not doing it right of that fear you might end up reading about something that you kind of you know you read something and then you go oh is this also something I need to take care of you know you just get into to some sort of a tumult but if you're just taking it easy and slow like this morning when I was just changing to things you know and I was sticking with that task because yeah after that I wanted to leave the house I wasn't set, set kind of uh, preparing myself to be in front of the computer the whole day I was actually wanting to leave so I was like okay easy easy this two things so yeah and because I was changing uh, you know one thing was I wanted to have in the movie script that she's emptying her bag I didn't have that in there but when you travel you do that a lot so she gets back to her hometown and she's also doing that just emptying her bag and so she has all her stuff on the lawn in that park and she's not sitting there with all the girls and kind of feeding the birds there is these black birds in that park a family I used to see them when I was in that park so that one just has to happen but then I wrote it much much more kind of organically so then the two other guys are running past her and instead of the women feeding the birds it's just the birds being there eagerly waiting for the women to leave so that they could check that area whether there is something on that grass that they could eat so because the birds are around that, that, then or 
already and the two uh, guys run past the birds fly off into the air you know that's a real nice picture it's like in that park the two guys and that woman they could have met already but they don't see each other she's cleaning her bag and they are running past later on she's driving across the lake and they are sitting beside the lake with a dog they have rented from a homeless to sell drugs so when they have their drugs in that dog poo bag oops dog poo bag no one suspects anything you know that they're doing something wrong there just sitting there with the dog that's okay so she's driving by past them with that so-called lake lake taxi just the boss that's on the lake and then she's walking with uh, in the city and stuff and in the evening she even gets back there you know she goes all along she's clever <laughs> she goes all along the lake and then the river and then she meets a woman and you know they end up uh, right there where there the others are the guys are sitting beside the lake but in the evening so again they could have met but they don't and later on <laughs> again they could have met but they don't because those two smokers they need to distract some guy in the official transport system so that the others in the back can shoot the quickie for that kind of project the dealer is pursuing so they don't meet because when they have done so she suddenly saw that homeless on the tough uh, rich um, street um, starting at the train station lying on that bench so she as soon as they finish shooting she runs off and she wants to talk to that homeless <laughs> You know, so she's in the back of that tram and she just waves goodbye because she needs to get back one station to talk to that homeless. So she then accompanies that homeless, which uh, who has, you know, uh, luggage and all, but she's like laying on the bench and sleeping there. But uh, the protagonist just goes back and talks to her and accompanies her through the station to her train just to show the station again <laughs> yeah it's a nice place in Zurich <laughs> the main station <laughs> yeah so well she doesn't see him then either so that's kind of like what Zurich is about there's so many people but when you're an artist and you go visit uh, vernissages you're gonna see the same people over and over and over again the same when you are interested in evening courses, language, you're gonna see the same people over and over again. When you live in a district, the people buying stuff at the supermarket there are about the same at the same time. Like the, the, the ones that wanna steal something, they always go right before it closes, 10 o'clock. So they steal something and then the people from that shop, they don't really call the police because they wanna go home. <laughs> you know, it's uh, kind of like, yeah, you can't predict what's happening somehow. So now here I am back home, I'm so glad I made it to my monk back home. Now, uh, you know, I just need a, a, a shower maybe, and otherwise and draw them. Yes, yeah, so bye.